I moved around a lot because my last trafficker would go to jail and didn't want to do probation or parole. So uh, we did a lot of running. My trafficker went to jail and I reached out to a local church because I really felt like I can't do this. I had one of those moments prostrate on the floor where I knew I couldn't do it. And I had met some people and this man gave me a business card for his church. And he said, call my pastor. And I did. They came and they set me up with some time at an extended stay. And I had just gotten a job. I was walking to and from work. I mean, I had nothing. So, you know, being stripped to nothing, you're grateful for where you're starting. So I got involved in the church, uh, went to small group and got really close with the small group people. But I wasn't sharing everything. Uh, a lot of these people, you know, in the South, they grew up in church. They didn't have homes like I did. So I was very reserved. And I'd say a few months down, the I got road, a knock at the door one night and my trafficker had got released from jail. I didn't know what to do. And so I was so scared. I got in that situation again. I'd say it lasted for about six months. 